Hi, today we'll be teaching you guys about carbon capture and sequestration and its potential to help mitigate the effects of global warming and climate change. Now, as we know, climate change is very real and we're already feeling the effects of it. To um, prevent these effects from intensifying, uh, the International C uh, Panel on Climate Change has agreed on to limit this warming to 1 to 2 degrees Celsius. Um, one such way to help meet this goal is climate uh, carbon capture and sequestration. Now what is carbon capture and sequestration? So the general idea is you take carbon dioxide in the atmosphere or carbon dioxide that's being emitted into the atmosphere by power plants and capture it, transport it to injection sites and inject it into the ground. The idea being that removing this greenhouse gas from the atmosphere will lessen the greenhouse effect and limit climate change overall. This is possibly a groundbreaking concept, but um, there are some real concerns about carbon capture and sequestration that need to be addressed before it can be enacted on a large scale. So how does this work? So basically you can capture carbon from two different sources, either directly from the air or from uh, power plants, high concentration steam streams. Direct air capture right now is very limited, but a great way that the people are using to capture air, cap to capture carbon from the atmosphere, is actually using plants to capture the carbon as they naturally do to produce food, then burn those plants, and then use the technology for capturing carbon from high concentration streams to uh, filter out the carbon and then prepare for injection. Now for high concentration uh, steams, it's much easier and you can just filter out the carbon by condensing it um, and then prepare for transport. Now once you inject it, the best way to keep it underground is not to just straight inject into the ground because that forms giant bubbles that can cause shear stress on surrounding rocks and potentially cause it to leak, but to actually atomize the carbon and put it into the pores of rocks, which is a virtually permanent leak-free solution to this. And also opens up lots of area under the ground for injection. Using a mix of these two systems, bioenergy with carbon capture and sequestration and uh, carbon microbubble sequestration, I feel that we can seriously tackle this climate change problem in a way that is feasible, cost-effective, and efficient. Thank you.